the potential risks and concerns of oral sexual activity. When it comes to oral sexual activity, there are several potential risks and concerns that individuals should be aware of. One of the most common concerns is the transmission of sexually transmitted infections, STIs. While the risk of STIs can be reduced through the use of barriers such as dental dams or condoms, it is important to note that they do not provide complete protection. 1. Transmission of sexually transmitted infections, STIs. One of the primary concerns associated with oral sexual activity is the transmission of sexually transmitted infections, STIs. Although the risk of transmission through oral sex is generally lower than with other forms of sexual activity, it is not risk-free. STIs such as herpes, gonorrhea, syphilis, and chlamydia can be transmitted through oral sex. It is important to note that using a barrier method such as a dental dam or condom can help reduce the risk of transmission. Additionally, regular STI testing and open communication with sexual partners are essential for maintaining sexual health. When it comes to oral sex, it is crucial to understand the specific risks associated with each STI. For example, herpes can be transmitted through skin-to-skin -skin contact, including contact with the mouth or genitals. The virus can cause painful sores or blisters, which can increase the risk of transmission during oral sex. Gonorrhea, on the other hand, can infect the throat, causing symptoms such as a sore throat or difficulty swallowing. If left untreated, it can lead to more serious complications. Syphilis, a bacterial infection, can also be transmitted through oral sex. The infection progresses in stages, with the initial stage characterized by a painless sore or ulcer. If left untreated, syphilis can cause severe complications including damage to the heart, brain and other organs. Chlamydia, another common STI, can infect the throat, causing symptoms such as a sore throat, cough or fever. While the risk of transmission may be lower with oral sex compared to vaginal or anal sex, it is still important to take precautions to protect oneself and one's sexual partners. Using barrier methods, such as dental dams or condoms, can help reduce the risk of sty transmission. These barriers create a physical barrier between the mouth and genitals, preventing direct contact and reducing the risk of infection. Regular sty testing is also crucial for maintaining sexual health, Many STIs, including herpes and syphilis, can be asymptomatic, meaning that individuals may not experience any symptoms. Therefore, regular testing is essential to detect and treat any infections early on. Open communication with sexual partners is also important to ensure that both parties are aware of their sexual health status and can make informed decisions about their sexual activities. In conclusion, while the risk of transmitting STIs through oral sex may be lower than with other forms of sexual activity, it is not risk-free. It is important to be aware of the specific risks associated with each STI and take appropriate precautions to protect oneself and one's sexual partners. Regular STI testing and open communication are essential for maintaining sexual health and reducing the risk of transmission. Furthermore, it is important to note that certain oral health conditions can increase the risk of transmitting infections during oral sex. For example, individuals with gum disease may have higher levels of bacteria in their mouths, which can be easily transferred to their partner's genitals. To minimize this risk, regular dental checkups and cleanings are essential. Dentists can identify and treat any oral health issues that may be present, reducing the likelihood of transmitting harmful bacteria or viruses. Additionally, maintaining a healthy diet and avoiding excessive sugar consumption can help prevent the development of dental problems. Moreover, it is crucial to consider the impact of certain medications on oral health. Some medications, such as those used to treat dry mouth or allergies, can cause a decrease in saliva production. Saliva plays a vital role in maintaining oral health by flushing away bacteria and preventing the formation of plaque, Therefore, individuals taking such medications should consult with their healthcare provider to explore alternative options or strategies to mitigate the potential impact on oral health. In addition to oral health considerations, it is also important to discuss the use of protection during oral sex. While the risk of sexually transmitted infections STIs, is generally lower during oral sex compared to vaginal or anal sex, it is still possible to contract certain STIs, such as herpes, syphilis or gonorrhea. 
using a barrier method, such as a dental dam or a condom, can provide an extra layer of protection against dusty eyes. Dental dams are thin latex or polyurethane sheets that can be placed over the genitals or anus to prevent direct contact and reduce the risk of transmission. Condoms can also be used on sex toys or fingers during oral sex to minimize the risk of infection. Ultimately, being aware of and addressing oral health considerations is crucial when engaging in oral sexual activity. By practicing good oral hygiene, seeking regular dental care, and using protection, individuals can reduce the risk of transmitting infections and promote overall sexual health. Furthermore, it is important to recognize that engaging in oral sex can evoke a range of emotions and psychological responses. For some individuals, it may be a source of pleasure and intimacy, enhancing their emotional connection with their partner. On the other hand, others may experience feelings of guilt, shame or anxiety due to societal or cultural beliefs surrounding oral sex. It is crucial to remember that everyone's emotional and psychological responses to sexual activities can vary greatly. What may be pleasurable and enjoyable for one person may not be the same for another. Therefore, it is essential to approach oral sex with empathy, understanding, and respect for each other's emotional well-being. Open and honest communication about desires, boundaries, and expectations is key to ensuring that both partners feel comfortable and respected during oral sex. This means discussing any concerns or fears that may arise, as well as expressing desires and fantasies to enhance the experience for both individuals. In addition, it is important to be mindful of the power dynamics that may exist within a sexual relationship. Consent should always be enthusiastic, voluntary, and ongoing. It is essential to recognize that consent can be withdrawn at any time, and both partners should be aware of each other's boundaries and be willing to respect them. Creating a safe and supportive environment where both partners can openly express their emotions and concerns is vital for a healthy sexual relationship. This includes being receptive to feedback, addressing any issues that arise, and seeking professional help if needed. In conclusion, while engaging in oral sex can be a pleasurable and intimate experience, it is crucial to consider the emotional and psychological implications it may have on both partners. Open and honest communication, consent, and respect for each other's boundaries are key to fostering a healthy and fulfilling sexual relationship. Another concern is the potential for injury during oral sex. This can include things like accidentally biting or scratching the genitals, which can cause pain or discomfort for both partners. It is important to communicate with your partner and to establish boundaries and consent before engaging in any sexual activity to ensure that both partners are comfortable and safe. It is also worth noting that oral sexual activity may not be pleasurable or comfortable for everyone. Some individuals may have physical or psychological factors that make it difficult or uncomfortable to engage in oral sex. It is important for individuals to communicate their preferences and boundaries with their partners and to prioritize their own comfort and pleasure. In conclusion, while oral sexual activity can be a pleasurable experience for many individuals, it is important to be aware of the potential risks and concerns associated with it. Practicing safe sex, communicating with your partner, and prioritizing your own comfort and pleasure are all important factors to consider when engaging in any sexual activity.